Hi, this is Amanda Lester with Virtual Horse Help, and we're in Jacksonville, Florida, and we're here talking to Dave Moore, and he's going to tell us a little bit more on Rainers helping Rainers through Hurricane Irma. Dave, again, I'm going to turn the mic over to you. Thank you. So one of our stories that surrounded the hurricane happened about two days after the hurricane. And it was actually, this story has to do with not, it has a lot to do with my recovery. It enabled me to really feel really good about how things are going in my life. And so, unfortunately, during the hurricane, one of our, one of the guys in Florida, who was also in the horse business and was a rainer, he had uh, much less fortune than we did. And so, the place that he runs his business at was a, was a brand new farm and a really nice one. It was, about two and a half hours away from where our mine was. Turns out the night that it happened, that the storm happened, um, there was a horrible tornado that started just a half a mile away from his place, went right straight through the middle of it and then exited on the other side. So we heard through the grapevine that, that after the storm, we all called each other. I got lots of calls from almost all of the NRHA professionals in Florida, and they all check on each other, and I thought that was just fabulous. It really helped me a lot. But there's one guy that we had heard that, that, that wasn't quite so good. He's not really, at the time, he wasn't really a close friend of mine, but we knew that, that, um, that he was in kind of a bad way we had heard. And so I called him up out of the blue, and I said, hey, how you doing, bud? I heard that things aren't going so good, and I spoke to him for a while. Well, if you've ever been in a great, uh, in a big tragedy, you'll know that that everybody, whether you're, whether you think it happens to you or not, everybody experiences a fairly high level of shock. And so here is a guy whose business has just absolutely blown away, and and he doesn't really know what the next step is. And I just call him up out of the blue and say, Hey, how is how is this going? So when I spoke to him, I was very clear that that he was in some need he, he he basically said no I'm fine I don't need you guys to help me and but I I heard in his voice that he was a little unsure and, and I knew that he was a good fellow and I knew he's a real family man um, and so I said okay that's good and I hung up the phone I called another guy another rainer from South Florida his name is Matt Goodman and I said Matt I just talked to Bud I think that things aren't so good there and I think we need to go help him he doesn't really says he doesn't want the help, says he doesn't need the help, but what if we just got our stuff together and we went up? And Matt was all in from the very first second. So here we are, now Matt's situation is the same as mine. Matt has a farm of his own. We have families of our own. We're gonna stop right in the middle because we know that Bud's not in as good a situation that we are. All my horses are fine, all Matt's horses are fine, That and our families are good, so our two part, top priorities are, are, are good. So I took the fellow that clean stalls for me that is a great fellow that's been there for 17 years I took a good friend of mine also his name is Leroy father and Matt drove an hour and a half and he was at my house on Wednesday morning at 6 30 a.m. I had hooked up my horse trailer and basically we filled it with all the tools that, that we had I don't have a lot of tools and not really very good with tools to be really honest with you but I put everything that I had in. Matt brought some saws um, I have some clients that we had spoke to. They were also involved in the storm. I have one guy who's a great guy. He has, he's a commercial fisherman. He, and, and he, has, a, he has a commercial ice, ice machine. So we bring 300 pounds of ice. And then he leaves, the same guy leaves, and he comes back and he says, you know, I was thinking about you guys are gonna go help your friend. I don't think he's in that good a way. So this guy finds in a place now where we live at that point, there is no fuel and there is, that the Home Depot and the Lowe's that we rely on so much, they're all closed. This guy shows up with five gas cans all full of gas. You can't buy gas at that time. You can't find those cans. I don't know where he gets them. He shows up and says, I don't know this guy, but he needs some help. Then another one of my clients, there's a, there's a fellow that's just a super guy. His name is Ed Frawley. Ed Frawley lives in Albany, New York. He's the vice president of an engineering firm. He has no idea what a hurricane is. I have horses for Ed Frawley, I have had for years. And it's, a, it's a great relationship. Ed calls me up and says, I don't like this, what's happening with Bud. I, 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 saw this, I saw this picture, I don't think this is right. He says, we need to get him some money. Well, Ed, I, I know we need to get him some money. I don't think I can really help you with that part, but I'm gonna go see him and I'm gonna go try to help him. He says, okay, he hangs up the phone. Two hours later, he calls me up and says, we've set up a GoFundMe page. 
we're going to raise some money for Bud because regardless of uh, of what Bud's situation is right now, he can't run his business now, and that thing's a mess, and he needs some money, and we're going to get it for him. I'll be darned if in three days that Ed, Ed Frawley's GoFundMe page didn't raise about $10,000. That kind of thing, those people reaching out to help without even really knowing the people all that well, that's amazing. So we load up everything. I put five smelly guys in the truck at 6.30 in the morning, and we drive, we drive almost 250 miles to go find Bud, and we find his house, and we help him with his house a little bit, and we find his family, and they're in great spirits, and then we go see the barn. The barn is absolutely horrendous. It is a fairly new steel structure um, that basically had the entire roof peeled completely off it. They've had one horse die in the middle of the night. They've had horrible stories. And, and, and believe me when I tell you, you'll see some pictures that I took on my phone. There is no fix in this thing. It, it, it's, it's in a bad way. And here's Bud kind of running around, looking around, trying to figure out what the next thing to do is. But that's what happens in a big storm. When you get all done and every, everything looks its worse, you just don't know where to take that next step. So Matt and I and Leroy and Jorge fired the saws up. We, we ended up helping clean up the little pieces that we could. We had a good day. We ended up looking at his office. His office had been full of water and, and most of the office was ruined, but some of it was still savable. So, the, so because the roof was, was peeled off, we ended up going back into the stalls. Two of the guys scabbed lumber from the stalls and Matt and I got up on the top, a couple of cowboys in their hammers. Now let me tell you, that's kind of ugly. And I'm not gonna show you my fingers because my fingers will never look the same. But we set up a truss system and we, put, we brought a bunch of FEMA plastic that we had and we dried the thing in as good as we can. Next day or two days after that, he has about four inches of rain. He calls me up, Bud calls me up and says, you know, things haven't been going so good for me lately, but you guys dried that thing in and we lived through four and a half inches of rain and the stuff that's in the office is still there and it's not damaged. Little stuff like that can get a person back on his feet. And we knew when we drove home that day, we knew that we had done the right thing. We felt good about going back to our farms. Matt went back to his, I went back to mine. And, and we were able to work hard and really really make them right again, set the trees up, get the ones out that weren't right, you know, fix the fence. But we all felt better about how we fit into this whole world and that's that's one of the stories of the hurricane we just finished up. Many horses need support in four key areas, joint, hoof, coat, and digestion. Our smart combo formulas allow you to cover all of these bases in one comprehensive supplement. With every smart combo formula, you can get the comprehensive support your horse deserves and save. Visit smartpack.com smartcombo to get started.